probably not easy, but you need to have the time for everything. So you you schedule everything, and you have family that help you with your children, and everything it's possible. Yes. Good. Who else? Does anybody have work-life balance? <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> 30 years later in the industry, I'm trying to figure it out. Do we have any questions from the audience? We've all, we've just been talking among ourselves. Anybody out, out there have any questions for us? Oh, come on, are we boring you guys? No questions? Okay, questions, yes. Excuse me, I am not speaking English. Eh, yo voy a hablar español para que traduzcan y ella eh, voy a presentar a Sonia Yendorova que es chef, vicepresidente de la Asociación Brasilera de Alta Gastronomía representando a todas las mujeres chef del Brasil En Brasil nos preocupamos mucho en formar nuevos jóvenes hombres o mujeres En Brasil la preocupa la preocupación es formar jóvenes chef y mujeres chef. Yo desafío a las señoras aquí presentes, miembros de la UOC, que hagan uh, en sus países preconcursos para mujeres, para que ellas vengan a disputar en no Brasil, en Santa Catarina, un concurso da mulher cozinheira. Ela é um desafio para que todas as mulheres, as mulheres chef do mundo inteiro, venham ao Brasil para realizar o primeiro concurso mundial de chef femininos em la ciudad de Florianópolis. Acho que essa é uma forma das mulheres poderem pesquisar, estudar, trabalhar y mostrar a su país. Es una forma de mostrar, trabajar, pesquisar y hacer bien a su país. Só dessa forma as mulheres poderão ser respeitadas, porque elas vão mostrar trabalho para tal. Só de solo de esa manera las mujeres serán respetadas porque van a poder mostrar su trabajo. Lugar nós conquistamos com luta. Os homens também o fizeram assim. E nós temos muita garra para mostrar que nós temos espaço nesse mercado. Se os homens conquistaram com luta, nós também lutamos e podemos mostrar que temos suficiente garra para poder conquistar. Espero, senhoras, todas em Florianópolis em 2009. E las esperamos a todos ustedes en el 2009 para poder mostrar eso. Mandaremos los regulamentos y espero el apoyo de la OACS para que nosotros podamos realizar este concurso. Estarán siendo enviadas para ustedes los reglamentos y solicita a OACS que los apoye para poder realizar este gran evento, primer evento en el Brasil. Thank you. Can I just ask a clarification because we didn't hear all of the interpretation. But I think I understand that you're you're proposing a competition just for women chefs. Is that what I heard? Congratulations. <laughs> And again, I think it's, it's, it's introducing environments where women thrive and where they are, they are on an equal plane. Uh, let me, uh, can I chime in on that, uh, Debbie, for a second? Um, I think what we need to do is really take a look at that, what that does. If you have a uh, competition for women chefs only, you're achieving just the opposite of what we want to achieve. Because then you're saying, what you're really saying then is, women don't belong in the men's arena. You may say they are not as good as, and they can compete on their own terms and leave us alone. That to me is the exact opposite of what we hope to achieve.
All right, any other questions? Thank you, Ferdinand. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Chris Gallagher from the Hong Kong Chefs Association, and um, I, I appreciate a lot of what Anne said in her presentation and the comments from the panel. But I, I agree uh, that there, <clears throat> there seems to be a, a, uh, a, a balancing act of avoiding sort of women-only competition or demanding uh, protection for one minority group versus, as you said, a diversity. And even in the language of the panel, this comes through. And I, I wonder, how will you navigate that uh, very tricky balancing act? You know, uh I can only speak for myself here, so I don't speak for anybody else. But I really think, at the end of the day, it's about diversity. And, and I think it, we just have to be inclusive. And we live in a world with multiple genders, multiple ethnicities, multiple races, mul multiple personal choices. And we just have to look for the best, the most passionate, the best palates, and we have to bring them all into our kitchens. And in America right now, you know, when I grew up in CIA, we, taught, we were taught French because we were told French is the language of the kitchen. Well, I'll tell you, in America, Spanish is the language of the kitchen. It isn't French, and it hasn't ever been. <laughs> Spanish is the language of the kitchen because in every kitchen you go into, in every urban city in America, three-quarters of the employees are Hispanic, and almost none are the chef. You know, so we really have to look for the best and the brightest. We have to mentor them, we have to support them, and we have to promote them. And we are on a panel about women, and women are just one of all the minorities that we just have to deal with in our industry. Well, and I think that, remember, the, the idea of diversity and inclusion, think of the opposite. If there's any environment that excludes people, or excludes people from being promoted, or excludes them from being thought of as, an, as, a, as a true candidate, that's the opposite of what we're trying to achieve, and that is be inclusive, be an environment where people can thrive, all people. Any other questions? Oh, over here. Hello, I'm uh, Devinder Kumar from uh, India, New Delhi. Well, you see, if we talk about women in the kitchen, I have traveled quite a bit and I've seen ratio is pretty low. Somewhere there's none. In India, if we talk about it, 20 years back, 25 years back, there was a myth, there was a feeling that hotel industry itself is not safe for women. Mm. If I compare that now, today, uh, girls and women now working in large numbers, but when it comes to kitchen, although girls are coming, but I still feel the ratio is going to be very low. Reason being, we have two issues. One is cultural issues. Uh, you know, the kind of uh, uh, environment is there that generally when... W and second is the nature, nature of work. I still remember there was a girl who came for an interview. She was so keen to join kitchen. I, I took him to Indian kitchen where the clay oven is there. The temperature is more than 500 degrees and she wanted to be a barbecue chef. But I didn't see her next, next day for joining. I did offer her the job. Secondly, we have this issue is that uh, generally when girls get married, you know, they, they, they are in-laws and all, they don't allow them to continue. So these two reasons, they do attribute to it. Though increase is there, but these factors also there. Now, in the last two days, I attended this dinners uh, hosted in various hotels. There was so much of live cooking going on. I didn't see even a single girl cooking food. I don't know if you observed it. Both the hotels, some cooking was going on, but I didn't see any, any girl or woman cooking. So I, I, this is what I just want to say from Indian point of view. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And I, <clears throat> yes, 